an alien invasion. Is it biblical? Of course it is. Clearly I'm not here today as a fact witness. You can Google it. I think you just use the Bible, do whatever the hell you like. Just remember, it's not a lie if you believe it. Welcome to Mystery Bible Theater 3000. My name is Caleb Hegg, and with me, my lovely assistant, as always, Rob Van Hoff. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe I'm your lovely assistant. Just making we're all both the, lovely, I'm th- thinking. There we go. We're both lovely, and we're both assisting each other in the uh, in the pursuit of wackadoo. Um, yeah, we have an interesting one today. And... Uh, <laughs> I I think that, uh, you know, I'm just going to say this outright. I believe that liberalism, like being an American liberal, is a mental disorder. I like, I don't think you can. That's Michael Savage's book, I think. Is it? Liberalism is a mental disorder. I think he wrote a book like 10 years ago on that. I did not know that. But, but I can't, I can't think of any other reason that people would, I mean, it's got to be, it's got to be that way. Okay, um, yeah, so uh, before we jump in, if you uh, uh, like this kind of content, then you might also like our, our regular show, which is on Wednesdays, 9.30 a.m., but it's obviously going to be on uh, YouTube and uh, Rumble and uh, any podcast format that you want, you can listen to it on as well, and uh, that show is a, a bit longer, we usually go about uh, an hour long. Uh, but if this is your cup of tea, then uh, we are glad you're here. You can send videos uh, to be reviewed for Mystery, Mystery Bible Theater 3000, seehagatorresource.com. And uh, you can also listen to uh, our shows, that is our regular show, on messiahmatters.com. I'll also, get some merch. You can go get some merch. Uh, you know, I think we should do some Mystery Bible Theater 3000 merch. What do you think? Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my. Oh well, my. I think it, I, I would like to see something maybe Mike could do with that with that uh, MBT MBT 3K or something like that yes. as one of the styles. Yeah. Okay. And uh, last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, it does help us. I know that sounds weird, but it does help us. Okay. Well, without further ado, let's switch over to the Mystery Bible Theater 3000 view. Here we are. And uh, we're just going to go with it. Take a listen to this. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, take a listen to this. You've probably heard that Eve was formed from one of Adam's ribs. But the reason behind that translation choice might be misogyny. Wait. What? Yeah, in the Bible, there's actually a proper anatomic word for a rib bone. It's the Aramaic Allah. And we see it in places like Daniel, where a bear has three rib bones in his mouth. Can we just pause right here? Does this guy not realize that parts of Daniel are written in Aramaic, but Genesis is written in Hebrew? Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's hear where he's going. Okay. But in Genesis, when Eve is being formed, it says that God took a cella from Adam. And this word is never translated as rib anywhere else in the Bible. In all 40 other instances, it's either translated as half or side. Like in Exodus 37, the Ark of the Covenant has two separate sides, or the two sides on the split door that leads into Solomon's temple. But you know, if you're interested in promoting a worldview in which women are subordinate to men, it doesn't really help you to have an origin story where Eve comes from an equal part of Adam. You kind of like the vibe of Eve coming from this tiny, insignificant rib. And so... Yeah, so that's the whole video. Minute long. Um... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I, I think what who's who's projecting a worldview is this. Yeah, exactly. This know nothing. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the same word. Yeah. The 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 Aramaic word, which is spelled ayin lamed ayin, and the Hebrew word tzayin lamed ayin. If you've done any Hebrew and Aramaic, you know that there are more phonemes than there are letters. And there's numerous examples where an ayin and a tzadi cross over. The famous one is Genesis 1-1. The word for land is eretz. Yeah, ha-aretz. ha-aretz in the in the definite article, right? In the beginning, bereshit, bara Elohim, et ha-shemayim, et ha-aretz. We created the heaven and the earth. 
if you look in in the Aramaic Targum, it's Ar'ah, Aleph Resh Ayan, instead of Aleph Resh Tzadi. The Tzadi Ayan interchange is totally understood. We, we understand it, uh, why it is. So this know-nothing sensationalist should shut the front door. <laughs> Yeah, so he doesn't I, know what he's talking about. What he wants to do, he's trying to portray the Bible as misogynist. That's right, his agenda. Right. And that's evil because he's doing it from a position where, A, that he doesn't really know what he's talking about. He hasn't bothered to do the homework. And he's taking cheap shots at something he doesn't understand for the sake of pointing and laughing at the Bible. Or, or, or for a, for a progress, progressive woke ideology. Yeah, this guy's an idiot. This guy's an idiot. And he's either going to learn it sooner or later, um, but he doesn't know what he's I'll, talking about. Hey, look, he, I'll tell he, you what. I'll throw this guy a bone here. I'll, I'll throw him a bone here. I actually uh, don't care if if uh, it's rib or side. I think that side... That's what I mean. It's, 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 it's a it, non-issue. It, it's a non-issue it. because the, the fact of the matter is is that if it comes from Adam's side, that's that's great. It works just as well. Yeah. Well, and the narrative undermines his reading because what does he call her? Yeah. He calls her Eve <laughs> yeah. because yeah. she's mother of all the living. He so, listens to her. She gives him the the fruit, and he's like, he takes it and eats it. Right. Like and, so. But what is she idea, called? She's called the hel a helper. Yeah, yeah. This guy, this guy's an idiot. Another reason why, you know, people you, you hear them quote Bible languages. Oh, the ancient Aramaic. Da da da. Yeah, this guy doesn't know Aramaic from Hebrew if it bit him. Totally, just totally off topic. But I've thought about making my personal pronoun. So for those who don't know, we go to the Society of Biblical Literature every year. The SBL, as it's known, is uh, becoming more and more uh, progressively woke, uh, unfortunately. But it's a conglomeration, of, I said that word wrong, of all, all these different uh, religious viewpoints, including LGBTQ+, whatever, Right, and so they give you the option to put your uh, your uh, your pronouns down, if you would like. And uh, I was thinking about on my badge having my pronouns be patriarch and patriarchy. I think that, that would work well. Anyway, so I yeah. I, I think that uh, this person this this gentleman has uh, missed the mark in multiple ways. Number one, yeah, it could be a translated side. That would be just as good that uh, Eve comes from his side and is still called a helper, right? Uh, second of all, clearly the Bible is, is patriarchal. There is no doubt about it. And I don't understand why that would be a problem. Uh, third, if you believe that, that the Bible was uh, promoting misogyny, then you really need to do some research on the ancient yeah. Near East because the Bible was the one who liberated women from... Yeah. misogyny means hatred of women, right. literally. It's a Greek word, hatred of women. The Bible does not hate women. That's the... But, but I mean, we could keep going with this, right? Uh, I'm not sure if this gentleman has any idea of what language the Bible was written in, but Aramaic in the book of Daniel does not translate over to... Yeah, but, but, but his whole point is this also, is that he just happens to have an English translation that translates right. um, the word as rib in Daniel, and then he uses that as his touchstone. Well, it could easily be translated as side... I mean, it, there as well. It's it. Anyway, I think that this person should, if he's going to cite the Bible and he's going to cite languages of the Bible, you should go and know what you're talking about first. It's but, the same word. Ayin lamed ayin in Aramaic is the same word as tzadi lamed ayin in Hebrew. Same word. The, uh, you can't see this, Rob, but interestingly, this gentleman is clearly standing in a library. Oh. Oh, well, wait a minute. Let me, I, I take back everything I said. Exactly. Uh, you can tell that he staged this well, though. I mean, he, I, I mean, he's got a, he's got library books behind him as if uh, he's, he's very well learned. Um, I, I would, you know, honestly, I don't know who this person is and it would be interesting to see if he was pursuing some kind of an education in, in biblical matters, because I think that uh, actually he is standing, he's standing Check this out. He's standing in the Hebrew section. He, I think he's standing in the Hebrew section of oh, the you library. Know what? But that's that's all you have to do, Caleb. 
<laughs> you need to go because I think there's a new technology. Like you get a chip put in your brain, and you just kind of absorb all the information from the. <laughs> I have those books. I actually do have his bu the books that are behind him. I wonder if he's read any of them. Probably not. Um, it sounds like he's a Bible scholar of Aramaic and Hebrew. <laughs> Well, that's the, that's the thing is that, okay, so now back to, to seriousness. If, if he is a, a Bible student, let's, let's, give this guy, let's give this guy benefit of the doubt here. He's a Bible student at some university, and he thinks that he's dr drunk some woke Kool-Aid, and now he is trying to show that the Bible is actually misogynistic in certain places, or the translation of the Bible, not the Bible itself, but the translation of the Bible is misogynistic in certain places. It, this oh, that's the point. This this is a yes. This is oh, a okay. I, I miss that. That's fair. That's fair. I missed that part. So he's saying it should say Genesis two should say side. So the translators put rib because they want to because they're misogynistic. Suppress suppress women. Right. Because they're misogynistic. Right. That's uh, let's give him the benefit yeah. of the doubt on that. The, the the thing is, is that he still really missed the mark on this, even if that's true. Well, here's funny. If if he wants to go to the Aramaic, you can look at the Targums, the rabbinic Targum to that verse. And they say it's made from the 13th rib. Right. So they, they're still right. They use the Aramaic word, ayin lamet ayin, the one that he's promoting from Daniel. Right. And they're saying it's the 13th. So they're putting a number on it. So it doesn't mean sign. So... So you'd have to say the rabbinic tradition and the Christian tradition that use rib are all misogynistic, patriarchal, Don't, colonialist. I mean, but, but that that works for the for the woke mob, right? Because um, all of these religions are misogynistic. It's only the the uh, the new uh, enlightenment of the woke people that have come to this understanding. It's kind of like it's it's kind of like every white person is actually racist, right? Yeah, the same kind of idea. Um, I do find it interesting that I have, I think, at least fifty percent of the books that are right behind him. I think I have the, almost all of what he has on his book on the bookshelf behind. So you, him. Caleb, maybe if you go stand in front of him, I'll be smarter. Maybe you'll get you'll go. Oh, I see what he's talking about. Uh, so I, I I guess the point here is that if this person is in Bible school, they or Bible college, they need to, he needs to do better. He needs to you know he needs to uh, now. Don't get me wrong. There are liberal uh, schools out there that would probably teach such nonsense, but this really it does not take much uh, study at all or investigation to find out that what this person is saying is just pure nonsense. This is ridiculous, and it's it's all he's trying to do is is tip his hat to the to the woke, the woke mob, so that he can gain some some points and possibly some likes on his YouTube channel. This is stupid. It is. This is just downright stupid. All right. If you have a better, I video, can't wait for his next video on the Bible. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a series on, on, it, on this. Guy. Okay. Oh, it's funny you say that because they're there because one of our friends keeps sending us the same lady and I've thought about doing a series on her. It's the lady who keeps prophesying. Oh man. Oh, it, she's still at it. Oh, she's not only at it. Maybe next week we'll watch the video where she says that we should read our Bible backwards to be able to understand it for real. Anyway. Okay. Um, yeah. If you got, uh, if you got videos you want us to see, uh, then send them to chegatorresource.com, C-H-E-G-G at resource.com. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. We will be back next week, hopefully, Lord willing, with another Mystery Bible Theater 3000. And, uh, yeah, just keep sending us that wackadoo. You know we love it. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.